Generic greetings and welcome to Moonshine Inc. Today's beverage is a nice traditional cup of tea, a far cry from the illicit substances we will be making in a forest in the middle of nowhere. Either way, welcome to Moonshine Inc. This promises to be a realistic brewing simulator of moonshine, so I have no idea if that is true because I've not played the game at all. This is the demo version 1.0.4 shown on the bottom right there, freely available as of the time recording, as always, links in the description. The full game is out uh, at some point in the future. Whether or not we care or not will depend on how this thing goes, so we're going to jump in and play it. A bit of a blind playthrough, I've not played as I said, but the subject and uh, perceived mechanics uh, seem to be quite interesting because it does say uh, realistic fermentation and brewing etc. So, well, we'll see what that is like. Over to new game and it says it's going to, oh, it's, it's going bad and that's good. Okay, different fuels, wood, petrol and gas. This is just a loading screen. Um, <clears throat> You've got different, uh, it says apparatus there. Apparatuses? Apparatus? Apparati? Anyway, lots of different tanks there. Directions. Fermentation is a perfectly natural process that takes place in doesn't matter. So, chapter one. <laughs> one day, a young moonshiner sets up a small operation in a peaceful forest in the distant mountains. Okay. Uh, he will be able to, or will he be able to, make himself a fortune, or will the hardships of the trade and the police turn out to be too much? Well, I guess time will tell. Time to find the answer to the question, time to play Moonshine Inc. Very nice art, I do uh, like that. So let's go, how to move the camera, WS and D, yeah, we're pretty much up on this one, rotate, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, the building process provides various control panels, click on the employee HQ to see more information about your employees. So, uh, employees start their actions when you begin... Uh, production of an apparatus or a new batch. The employees are essential to the realization of uh, anything in the base. Okay, fine. So we've got Richard here, and uh, it says warehouse is the storage of your base. Let's just store everything you need to make alcohol, ingredients, equipment, consumables, as well as finished products for their delivery. That is in the warehouse, is it? Yes, it is. And we've got 999 wild yeast, uh, baker's yeast, and turbo yeast. The more extreme types of yeast, are turbo yeast. Um, anyway, equipment here. Uh, Operators of our device let you distill different types of spirits. Select fermentation tank and then click on the placement icon. So we have our fermentation tank, which is just a blue barrel, and we can place it... Uh, in and around here, so it says there, I mean, it doesn't really matter too much, but I'm going to place it there, for example, and, oh, there, it's nice there. So, um, distilling, uh, distillation apparatus uh, are used to increase the alcohol content during production, select it, uh, so I guess we'll do that. Um, oh, you can also turn on off the grid, my look of it, uh, where's this going to go? Hmm, I mean, we can rotate it if we need to, holding R, yeah, okay. Uh, I guess we'll just place it, sort of, can we place it here? We can't. Place it there. That should suffice. And job done. Stores, as well as other locations, are accessible from the regional map, lower left-hand corner. Open to press the store icon. Okay. Ah, oh, so we've got, we've got stash, we've got the store, we've got base, we've got someone over there. Okay. So you can, um, visit the store. Yes, you can. So, right, if we want to, we can go ahead and do that. Click on the stand and the shopkeeper and, oh, honey, an especially important ingredient of Cherry Bounce, a drink that earned the legendary Amos Owens the title of Cherry Bounce King. It's 70% sweet and 30% acrid, apparently. Um, how much do we want to buy? 50 kilos, apparently. Can we type it in? No, we can't. Can we hold shift to? Yes, we can. To increase it, yeah. So, shift to increase it by 100 and control to increase it by 10. That is good. Let me just buy that. And it costs us 500. Cool. Um, also, it says, once the ingredients are purchased, they will need to be delivered. Go back to the map and follow the progress of the delivery truck. Um, oh, there it is. Hmm. <clears throat> we are... We are not surely getting it delivered directly to the base, are we? That would be... That would be very compromising, wouldn't it? Surely they would just drop it off here, and we would leg it through the forest, grab it and run back. Oh, it is 50 kilos, so... Hmm. Maybe not um, ideal. Oh god, yeah, they are driving directly to us. <sighs> right, fine. I wonder if we see it turn up, though. There's some people wandering around. So, first production. The process hub is a playground where you can choose ingredients. So let's have a quick look at this one. So we can create a new batch. So let's create a new batch and we got our batch creator. Oh, this looks fairly cool. So you've got like sour, bitter, sweet, uh, acrid and salty. Right, so we add an ingredient and we're going to add the honey. And 
that's obviously immediately sweet and acrid. We know it was 70% sweet, 30% acrid. I don't want to say acid, but it's acrid. And that's honey. You can say choose the fermentation tank. We've only got one. Uh, choose the distillation apparatizers. Wooden still. And looks copper to me. Um, and choose the post distillation. We are just simply bottling it. So that is the process. Okay. Fine. Uh, Right, there are five flavors and ingredients. Each recipe is a unique combination of those. The recipes you learn can be later loaded and recreated. We're giving you a new recipe to try. So we'll load up um, the daddy... <laughs> the daddy, okay, fair enough. Uh, we've got O Canada, <laughs> daddy pair, cheap. Um, what you need, you need at least three of these ingredients. Corn syrup, white sugar, molasses and raw sugar. Uh, we'll choose that recipe anyway. And... So that's the process, right? Good. Can I move this around? No, I can't. So the fermentation is ready. Requires yeast. So we'll add the yeast, and we're gonna have wild yeast. And yeah, let's see if this actually works. So we'll say create, and yeah, fermentation is the second step in the production process. It is a crucial step, which allows sugar, yeast, and water to turn to alcohol. Time-consuming but necessary step in which we must trust the yeast to do its job. When the tank is filled with water and mash, you can click start. All right. Uh, Start fermentation. Good grief, this is quite in-depth. Look at that. So you can add different stuff. So add 50 kilograms of mash. So there's the 50 kilograms. Oh, look at that. And it's also filling this up as well. And then water, which is... Ah, so it says add um, 115 litres of water. There's 115. Okay. And we can see the different proportions. And set the temperature to 27 degrees. Controlling all of this with very basic equipment in the middle of nowhere surely is a skill. Uh, set the fermentation at 27 and start. Okay. Click on the buttons of the lower right hand corner and we can speed up time. Um, oh, this is in progress. Yes. Okay, so it's cracking on. wonder how long it takes. Oh, so, so someone's coming along and they've... Delivering the ingredients. Uh, they're also really struggling to pathfind to where they need to go. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on there. I'm just going to max speed it out. Looks like these guys aren't doing anything. What someone else is. Oh, there we go. They finally got there. Uh, yeah, that pathfinding really needs to be fixed. It is a demo after all. Um, that was really weird. But anyway, we're putting all the stuff in the barrel. And there we go. That is doing its thing. It is fermenting. Good. Good. We've got a nice creek here with water. Hopefully there's not a factory like three feet from it and we're getting loads of chemicals in it. But looks nice. Looks can be deceiving. We've got different stashes as well on the right hand side there. Uh, we got maybe a day night cycle. So we have to max speed out. What else have we got? We've got... That's all for building and such. We've got... This is... What's that? Maintenance? This is our... Oh yeah, fermentation. That's... Oh! We're out. That's a... That's a research tree. And... Yeah, there's our people as well. And notes as well. How now to make stuff. It seems to be... Moonshine, brandy, whiskey and vodka at the top there. More may be available in the future. And also a police alert at the top, I notice. So, we can get copped by the law. Wait until fermentation is over. Well, we're getting there now. So it's Thursday, 10 degrees C. I wonder if the ambient temperature of the of the place actually does stuff. Who knows? So, open the batch. Um, during distillation, the fermented mash is heated and turns into alcohol. The outcome, uh, we get divided by into different parts. Heads, the beginning. Hearts, the middle part we're after. And the tails, the last bits. I guess the head would be something you admit. Would you want to get rid of that? Would that be ethanol, which is... Yeah, you don't want to be necking it. Um, open the batch hub and set distillation. Batch hub. Set distillation. Right, okay. Wow. Oh, yeah. Ethanol. Don't want that. Well, ethanol at 50 odd percent, it says there. So, set it to where? Set up the cut considering the colour of the graphic. Um, 
Oh, look at that. It changes based on where we put this. Interesting. Mm. So we want one bottle of that. Yes, we don't want, we don't want that. And you want lots of hearts. Is that right? No. What's that? Uh, heads, the beginning. Right, so yeah, we don't want any of that. Get rid of that. Then you've got the heads, the beginning. The heart is what we're after. Then the tail. Should be that. But that's changing. The tails, yeah. Is this going to change the hearts? There. Uh, try that. The fun's in finding out. Wait until it's done. So, can we see anything happening over here? No. Can't actually see anything happening there. Oh, we do have a little jar down the bottom there. So, is that the copper worm in what? Is that just. A, that'll just be. The con that's the condenser, surely. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not seeing no fires and smoke. I assume if that was lit, this would be generating smoke, which um, that would be a prime giveaway for any law enforcement agency. And or, you know, people who put out forest fires will come and investigate all attention that we currently do not want in our uh, chosen profession here. Or maybe hobby, who knows. It's a backstory that we haven't agreed on. <laughs> <laughs> and almost done there we go so bottling once distillation is complete you get the last chance to modify the spirit notably by increasing and decreasing the percentage of the ethanol by combining cuts or using uh, dilution or reinforcement processes so set of bottling we have wow moonshine you can add cuts from different stuff and you can dilute it or fortify it all right. Um, I mean, yeah, we can we can put this up if we wanted to. Thirty-three percent alcohol by volume, and we need a name. It's players' first bit. Ah, oh, we can't put players' first beverage. So we'll have first beverage. Okay. Let's bottle. The workshop is one of the most important buildings in your base. It lets you maintain your equipment after each batch by repairing and cleaning the apparatus. But especially to increase the size of your production by making new machines. Okay. So maintenance. We can perform maintenance on the wooden still. And we've got Richie, Richard the trainee. James the trainee. Both we've set to repair. We'll wait until that repair is done. So they're going to scrub it out, basically, aren't they? What? what? Why is that flashing? Ah, oh, because it's the, the repair bit. Yeah. In fact, they are. Hmm. They're not scrubbing out. They're actually hammering it with an air hammer. Not like a hammer powered by air. Not a pneumatic tool. I mean, it's literally made of air. Um, cleaning. Right? Okay. I guess then we want to clean it. Ah, so it is separate. Cool. Um, crafting. Unless you to build stuff. Okay. So we can go to distillation apparatus. Oh, and we can upgrade, can we? Crafting lets you build apparatuses to expand your operation. You can craft four different types, each one being related to a different production step. Crafting requires available employee, as well as time and money. Um, it says, craft an apparatus by filling every plus button. Okay. So, I mean, what sort of still do we create? We can create a classic still 400, a submarine. Wow, look at that. Huh. Um, a classic still. Well, what's the most expensive? A classic still 400. No, the submarine's the most expensive. I'm going to go with... What it shows on the picture there. No, I'm not. I'm going to go with a classic still. Wood and an oaken worm. 
pot and a shotgun. Wow. Well, um, so I'll create that then. <laughs> Delivering cargo. Now that you've made your first batch, you have to deliver it to your clients. Every uh, delivery is the last step of the production, so you need to choose a driver for the cargo. Ooh, okay, okay. So, we'll set up a worker to drive. We're going to get Joseph to drive this thing in his Ford Ranger. And we'll set up our 52 litres of cheap first beverage. <laughs> and we can set the de destination to... We've got different stashes by the look of it. Oh, is that like heat as well? Um, I guess I'll just set a destination uh, there. And, yeah, start the delivery. Side quests are special quests from your most loyal customers or important local figures. And like normal deliveries, each side mission has specific requirements. Oh, yes. So, 25 litres of moonshine made with honey. I will accept. This is from Augustus Guthrie, I think. So, I'll accept that. And open the mission log. Open the mission log. No... No. Ah, top right. There you go. Mission log. Cool. Pre-fermentation. Some ingredients need to be processed before being used. That's why you have to build a pre-fermentation apparatus in the workshop. Okay. Uh, we need pre-fermentation. So that's a crusher, a fruit press, and a simple grain. So, a crusher. Let's see what it says, actually. Mash be able to ferment somewhere. Play, peace and quiet. Make sure your fermentation tank is in good condition for the fruit press. So the fruit press will go there. We'll place the crusher. Uh, so a simple grain mill will go next to it. Followed by... Hmm, hang on. Get rid of that. Get rid of all those. Don't, we don't, oh, that's the distillation apparatus. Crusher. There we go. Right. Discovering recipes. Don't be afraid to try new combinations of ingredients, yeasts, and production techniques. Who knows? You might discover some new, never-been-done-before recipes. We've added three new ingredients to discover some new recipes. To continue, create a new batch. Create alcohol by combining three ingredients, apparatus and yeast, load, uh, without loading a, a, a recipe. Okay. So, let's try it then. So, they've taken the... <laughs> they've taken the... Uh, taking the thingy off, the uh, training wheels off. Let me try. I'm going to place from here. Um, I can't. I can't place that. No, I, I don't have options because, yeah, I'm going to, I guess I'm going to, I can't place that because that <laughs> tutorial is there now. All right. Okay. Well, I'll have to do it this way. So we'll create a new batch with, it says, well, we do, we do need to create one with honey. So let's just go ahead and do all that. Add a yeast. Let's go for a a turbo yeast. Can we add another ingredient too? Oh, you can add multiples. Okay. Right, interesting. Um, but I'm not going to do that. Let me just do that. It says combining three ingredients. Uh, okay, all three then. Let's just... Oh, look at the proportions. You can set proportions up. Let's, um... <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Let's, uh... Let's create it. Do you want to do that? Can we do that? It's going to be mainly sweet with some bitter and acrid notes. Quali uh, quantity is garbage. Is that the estimated quantity? Why don't we get rid of the turbo yeast and put in, say, wild yeast? 100% match with that one. That's a new recipe, 80% match. 76% match. 80% match. No, I don't want to load a recipe, though. Without loading a recipe. Hmm. What if we just like get rid of some of these? What if we get rid of? Hmm. We just have to play about with it, I guess. Let's go with raw sugar. And a six percent match. Sixty-three. Turbo, turbo yeast. That's a new recipe discovered. There we go. So it's finding the right combinations to get something. So honey, birch syrup, and raw sugar with wild yeast. 
Don't know what it is, but we're going to create. So, end of tutorial. Congratulations, you completed the tutorial. Here's what you can do and explore in the demo. Test ingredients, complete side missions, sell your products and spend the base. Right, let's, um, let's set up fermentation then. So, I guess... How do we know? Do we know how much water we're going to need? Um, how much mash? Ethanol's only 8%. I guess we can put 50... Was it, let's put 70 grams of... Uh, 70 kilos of mash in there. Sugar's too high by the look of it. I wonder if you can, like... Kill the yeast by messing it up. I don't know. That seems to be a... Sugar, con yeah, sugar concentration problem. Put it to there, and that'll increase the amount of liters you get, but not much else. 30 degrees start. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of customization, isn't there, and an experimentation to be had. Um, while we're doing that, then was that a local gangster of some kind? Hmm. Lots of really really cheap alcohol to the work party. There's our new still. It gives us lots of room to place it, but <laughs> there's very little room to actually place it by the look of it. Equipment wise, we've just got loads of fuel. Obviously stuff that we'll have to buy. Um, lots of options here for unlocking things. Gas, you've got electric, big tanks. Yeah. Post distillation, premium spirits. Again, it uh, purportedly, it's an uh, accurate simulation of brewing and fermentation, etc. Couldn't obviously confirm that because I have no idea what I'm doing, as is probably plainly clear. Very plainly clear. But, yeah. Seems to have a lot going for it there. We've got different fermentation tanks. Seems to go for a big tank if we really wanted one. And create what you need. Is that it? Create. Takes some time to create it, but we'll get there. That's now fermenting. I just wanted a bigger tank. And once it's created, I'll uh, I'll have a look at placing that as well. Crafting is done, so we should get another tank. Yep, really big tank this time. Place that there. So if we wanted to, we can set another one going. Um, can we just... That's distilling complete. Can we just, like, check it out and... Brew that again. Load recipe. That one. Choose the recipe. Which we know is this. Yeah, there you go. Let's create that. Just because I've got a quest to sell one, uh, make one with just honey, I believe. So they're going to fill up this one. This, this round. If I go to the store... Oh yeah, you got rice syrup, bananas, berries, cherries, strawberries. Wow. Let's make like a... Just random berries. Let's get 100 kilos of berries delivered, shall we? No, we probably don't need 100 kilos. 50. Buy. Yes. There we go. There's the delivery. Return to base. Oh, this is completed now. So... Want to set up distilling. Don't want any of that. We want that, that one, and that one, surely. We can also make it stronger. Yeah, this is the part that I'm really not too sure about. But, let's go for that. And set up fermentation for this one. We want 50... Ah, oh, I think we set it with 50 grams before, but we're actually running out of honey. So, that's really low ethanol content. Look at that. It's really low ethanol content. Um, guess we'll have to do that. It was 27 last time. I think we just need more. We probably need more honey. We haven't got enough. Um, don't know much choice. We'll set that going. We've got... That going to get moved out. And put into there, there. Yeah, that's shifting it around. Yeah, that's in progress now. Good. So I'll just take a, a little bit of time. I assume that's research points at the top, as well as uh, 
how many that's how many jars we've got not too sure looks like experience goes up as well and I'm guessing you can oh they've got traits so Richard is expensive high salary expectations and, and fire extinguish doesn't extinguish fires so we can probably confirm that uh, fires are in the game and yeah you got some events and things like that going on lazy reduced movement speed and no driving license can't make deliveries but then William is really good at driving uh, he can repair faster and he's careful hmm we have this which is now completed we're gonna set up bottling and we're gonna set up for 50 Eth oh hang on it's all down this is Donald's recipe apparently you can put more stuff in if you wanted to yeah so maybe we put some more put yeah you put one liter of head in it to get the ethanol to the right amount you can also fortify or dilute yeah we'll leave it as that so second beverage let's bottle it let's see how that one goes it's a shame we don't see like smoke coming out of these and the fires being lit and see all like the the flames and whatnot and steam and things like that but it is a demo after all what if our have our yes our berries have been delivered so we could make a new batch with berries and we'll use a fruit press we'll have the fermentation tank of the wooden still and we'll bottle it and we'll yeast wild yeast no uh, what about break baker's yeast no turbo yeast no we'll do that then we'll add in how ah, we can't use any more so we we can't load we can't we can't find anything with that so you do need to experiment to find the different things there okay cool reset um, how we're doing for that one that's also completed as well set up distillation uh, like I said oh we've got loads of stuff coming from this um, that that and that and I guess that yeah uh, start and can we sell now what have we got in storage second beverage there you go let's go ahead and sell that then so map we'll say uh, delivery that all of it set destination say stash two all right Start delivery. Can I do any more? Oh yeah, sorry, we need to sell. Yeah, person is good at driving. Um, there was someone really good at driving, wasn't there? But I don't think it really matters at this stage. This is going to send them out. All right, okay. Well, I could continue on, but I think that's um, enough to get to grips with the game. Right. Yeah, we'll go back to main menu. That's a bit of moonshine ink. I, I'm in very intrigued with that. With the with the whole simulation of the fermentation and the brewing etc and distillation all of that stuff because i know, don't know anything about it obviously i can't speak on how accurate it is and whatnot but it seems to be fun and that's the main takeaway isn't it is it fun yeah seems fun uh yeah i guess some people may be put off or even drawn to the um the subject matter but it is what it is quite enjoyed playing that demo yeah, I'll uh, probably be checking out the full game as well. If you have any tips and suggestions or just general, ah, by the way, this is what you've messed up and this is what it is, <laughs> then by all means pop it in the comments. But if you want to try the demo out yourself, as I said, it is still available at the time of recording. Perhaps that'll change in the future, but uh, yeah, I'll put li any links that I have in the description. And yeah, we'll leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Moonshine Inc. Enjoy that next time. Uh, maybe the full game, if it uh, is released in... Uh, a relative decent period of time. Anyway, hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.